Hi everyone and welcome to this short video on creating an announcement style page in your Google site. Before we actually dive in and create that style page, let's see what they look like. We'll click on announcement style page here at our site. This has a little description on a lot of different uses for announcement style pages. They're pretty much like a blog uh, and they the most recent one will appear at the top. Let me scroll down here a little bit and take a look at the actual uh, setup of one. Here's how it looks. You have a new post button where you can click on and create new posts, which really are pages. Here's the most recent post, and here's a previous post. And viewers can even subscribe to these posts as an RSS feed. So every time you pop one in there, people will automatically get a notification that it's available to be read. So let's take a look and see how we construct this announcement style page. We'll jump into our little tutorial sandbox that we have here that we've been using, and we will go and create an announcement style page. Let's jump up here to the top right hand corner and click on the new page button. When we click on the new page button, we can begin to name our page. I'll just simply call it announcement style page. And as you can see down here, we can select from the many types of pages that Google will allow you to create right on the, off the bat here. So we have the web style page, announcement style page, file cabinet, and list style. Let's select the announcement. And again, I generally don't like to use this portion down here, but manually place it on my site. I'm going to click on Create. And Google automatically opens up this page in the editing mode of the page itself because all I have to do now is to begin to click on the new post button and begin to add pages. Notice also that it automatically placed it on the navigation bar. I do have a tutorial that will show you how to customize that navigation bar either to change the order or possibly to remove items. Let's get back to our announcement style page. Now oftentimes I do like to come into the edit page button and come up here and add some content for my viewers, telling them what's going on or what they're about to see or maybe some instructions. So I have a space for that. I'll click on Save. Let's get into adding posts. So to start off with, all I have to do is to click on a new post. We will come up with an untitled post. We do want to name these, always name these posts. So we'll call this post number one. And here in this area, just like any other Google web page, you can add whatever content that you want. You can even add attachments to that. And if this is an interactive site, people can actually leave comments for that post. So I can begin to add all kinds of text or any other material that I want on that page. Again, I can even change the layout of that page. We've covered that before. We can add tables to that, we can change the format, and we can insert all kinds of things into that page. Once we have our post finished, let's take a look at the top right hand corner. Because up in the top right hand corner, we have two choices. We can save the post, that means we're done, we're ready for our viewers to see it, or we can save the draft version of that. That will give a link to you to come back and to change that post anytime you want before you actually finally post it. So let's go ahead and just click on save to see how that works. So here we have our first post. And it's under our announcement style page as a sub page. I'll click on our announcement style page once again. And here's our main page. And we can see that our most recent post will show up and I can click on that hot link and see the entire post and material that's on that post. So let's go back to our announcement style page and create a new post. We're going to give this a name. We'll call this post number two. Again, we can add whatever content that we want to the text body area. And again, we can change the layout, put in a table, the formatting, and insert anything that we wish from the Insert button as well. Very powerful 
in terms of what you can add to this. Let's click on the Save Draft button just to see how that works. Let me go back to my announcement style page. And as you can see, I only have one post that my viewers are seeing. I could go back and edit that post if I wanted to. But up here at the top, here's our draft post. Viewers won't see that. Only the owner of the site will see this. That allows me to go back to that post and begin to edit that post in any way that I want and to continue, maybe finish that. Then I'll click on Save. We're actually seeing the post there. I'll click on my announcement style page. And there we have post number two right over post number one. And as you begin adding more posts, announcements, or whatever you want to use these for, they'll begin to populate the most recent one at the top. And again, just like a regular page, if for some reason uh, you want to remove any of these posts, I'm going to click on post number two. I'm going to bring up post number two. I can click on more. And remember, this is really like a page. I can click on delete page. And do I want to click delete that post? Yes, I do. Now that I've deleted it, I only have one post that my viewers are seeing. So I hope you found this video helpful and have a good day.